Here's the permanent magnet stateless motor again. It's got an N20 motor driving the permanent magnets in a circle, but the permanent magnets stay pointing north and the rest of the armature turns in the circle. That's the idea of this. The improvement I've made, I don't know if it's an improvement, but I'm using uh, pulse width modulation to control the motor rather than this, the method I was using before, before I would have the motor stay on for like 25 microseconds or milliseconds and then have it stay off for like 150 or 140 or 130 and so on to go faster and faster. This way is a little harder to get it started. But it runs much more smoothly as you'll see if we can get it going. So what I want to do is make a video and then run it in slow motion and see how many RPM I'm getting. I don't think it's going to be more RPM than what I was getting, where I got 360 RPM maximum. Uh, because I'm bypassing the boost converter in the circuit. I have, uh, I had to change a pin to make it use a PWM. Uh, I had hoped that pin 3 would work on the Nano for PWM, but apparently it, it doesn't on this particular Nano. So that's our top speed. So you can see how smoothly that's going. It is bouncing, but it might be because it's going slower, but also because it's not stop, stopping and starting over and over again. So thanks for watching. Give me a like, subscribe, please subscribe. I appreciate all the subscribers. Uh, give me a rumble, uh, share with friends, and uh, stay tuned.